All right, so the feet in the golf swing, absolutely vital. They play a huge role in your balance, the equilibrium during the golf swing, whether you move over the top or too much on the inside, whether you strike it pure or whether you catch it fat or thin. Today's video, today's golf lesson is all about how the feet work within the golf swing. So guys, thank you very much for checking out the channel today. If you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. There's loads and loads of content coming. Just, I'm down here today at Royal North Devon Golf Club and I've just done a course vlog of the front nine. It's absolutely spectacular. By the sea, Lynx Golf, what a location to play. And it's the oldest golf course in England. So it's got a little bit of history about it as well, which I like that, I like a bit of history. But going on to today's video, today's video is all about the feet, as I've already said. And we're gonna be talking about how it kind of moves from heels to toes, because I often see golfers struggle with rotation. And why do they struggle with rotation? It's because a lot of the time, it's because of where the body weight is in the feet. So I, one of the common faults I see is as golfers go back, they say, I can't really rotate much further than here. And really, you don't have to go much further than 45 degrees with the hips, but you don't have much stability when the body weight starts to fall to the toes. So I see this a lot with golfers, particularly golfers that, that slice it, very, very common with golfers that slice it, is they move to the toes as they go up to the top of the back swings. They're all about here. So what's happened here is the upper body can't rotate as well, the lower body can't rotate as well. But what I would often say to them is, get the weight a little bit more back into your heels and you'll feel that right hip for right-handed golfers rotate better and you'll feel the chest and the shoulders start to rotate better. If we've created more of a coil, it's gonna be a lot easier to deliver the club from a more neutral angle. Now, as a golf coach, I don't care if golfers swing it from out to in or in to out, that's not important because you can have the same fault from both sides. You can do too much of both. So, I have, so if we see golfers that are kind of wrap it around the heels too much, we generally see a very flat swing where they've kind of almost over rotated. So if either fault applies to you, try and feel where you are. Try and feel where you are. Also a great way of doing this is put your phone down close to the floor and just video, the, video your, your feet as you're swinging. So forget the rest of your golf swing and just start to see maybe if you've got like a white line on the trainers like I've got here, you'll know where the weight's gone. Because if the weight's gone forward in the foot, you'll start to the white line will start to disappear at the bottom here. So you're gonna have a really good understanding of where your weight's working during the golf swing. And if, if you're a golfer that maybe hooks the ball, you'll start to see the toes come up. If you're a golfer that slices the ball, you'll generally see your body weight pressed to the front of the right foot. And that's key. That's a key understanding of, un of knowing where the body weight's working, because then it always starts to stem up golfers then say they can't rotate as I've already said and if you look at every single living organism everything starts from the ground up look at the trees the roots the roots hold the tree and that starts in the ground the feet are your roots they are going to be solidifying and enabling you to move how you want to move if they're in the in the right place if they're in the right position if they've got the right amount of weight in certain positions during the golf swing so you're a golfer. I'm going to approach this from probably what I see most common. Most common is the golf is the slice, and most common is the weight forward in the toes. So what I want, golf, what I want you to try and do, I want you to get your big toe on your right foot and just curl it up. Simple as that. Curl up the big toe, and you're going to feel much more turn around the right hip, around the right leg, around the chest, around the right shoulder and you're gonna feel a little bit more weight slightly further back into your foot. And you can start this with just a couple of little shorter swings, just get a little feel, a little, maybe like a, a nine o'clock to three o'clock swing, and just pull the big toe up on the right foot, and you just start to feel the weight just onto the ball of the feet, foot there, and then a little bit more into the heel as you're then starting to swing. And as you start to do that, you should then start to feel a little bit more opening up of your upper body to enable you to rotate better. If you can rotate better, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to come into the golf ball from a more neutral angle. And when you do that, the ball should go straighter.
Guys, thanks very much for watching this tip. I hope it's helped. It is a huge, huge area of your golf swing. It can generate power. It can generate a better swing plane. It can generate so much in your golf swing to help you hit the ball further, straighter, more powerfully, more consistently, better. It's a huge area of the game. We often just look at where the club is and where the arms are, and you forget that the main influence of them is a lot lower down. A lot, what your arms are influenced by your shoulders, which are influenced by your chest, which is influenced by your hips, your knees, and your feet you've got to be able to kind of work from that and this is where golf tips are difficult i completely think on on youtube you kind of you watch a video and you don't 100 percent know if it's related to you but what i would say is the feet are related to every single golfer they working the feet correctly working the feet better can help every single golfer on the planet that's why I think you should take really close attention, pay really close attention to what you do, how you can improve it, and therefore how you can improve your game as well. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Massive thank you to Royal North Devon Golf Club, and please do hit that subscribe button. Loads more content to come.